Hi, this is Jude from Movie Note. Today in Reminisce, I will be exploring the 1989 Ridley Scott movie Black Rain. Michael Douglas leads this movie with a superb cast, which includes Andy Garcia, Ken Takakura, Kate Capshaw, and Yusaku Matsuda. One of the last action movies of the 1980s, this action thriller takes us to the 80s Japan where city streets glow by neon lights, but are ruled by the ruthless Yakuza. New York City police officer Nick Conklin is in midst of an ongoing internal investigation against him when he and his partner Charlie Vincent arrest a member of a Yakuza gang named Sato committing a violent crime. Due to the Japanese officials' demands, NYPD is forced to extradite Sato to the police in Osaka, Japan, where he is most wanted. So reluctantly Nick and Charlie agree to escort him. In Osaka men dressed as police officers receive Sato, but before Nick realizes that they were imposters, it is too late. Nick and Charlie stay behind to assist in capturing Sato as observers and are assigned to assistant inspector Matsumoto. They try their own style of investigation in a foreign country, but it drags them deeper into the Japanese underworld while they come in between a gang war of two rival crime bosses who are involved in a counterfeiting scheme. But for Nick, capturing Sato becomes extremely personal. Black Rain can be called as a precursor to the 90s trend of movie making which included fluid editing methods. The reason then this movie has that 90s feel to it, and also whenever you see it, it looks fresh. If you have followed veteran director Ridley Scott's filmography, his movie making style cannot be read easily, since they are so different from movie to movie. But this movie stylistically relates to his brother, Tony Scott's movies which normally consists of quick edits stylized camera work and how action sequences are staged. Visually though, mostly the scenes in Japan, especially the night shots and scenes taken with massive crowds in background reminds of Ridley Scott's own Blade Runner. Black Rain is considered as his comeback to form after a string of failures after his 1979's Alien and he has never stopped ever since. Michael Douglas brings his character to life as the defamed and hot-tempered cop Nick so perfectly that the viewer cannot predict when will his temper might explode due to the circumstances he is put in. We see him guilty of something since beginning, and it can be read on his face. But once he confesses of his wrongdoing and vows to bring Sato down, he is focused. Andy Garcia's character Vincent, on the other hand, is the cooler character. Andy portrays him as the sharp, but fun to be around and lovable character in the movie. His character is the person who keeps Nick sane until tragedy strikes. The death scene of Vincent is so masterfully done, it is so shocking. Ken Takakura's Matsumoto is the most interesting in this movie. He is quiet observant and a law-abiding policeman who is reluctant to go against his superiors, but underneath wants to kick some ass like his American counterpart. But what's most amazing is his mentor-like qualities. He advises Nick about doing the job under oath with respect to it. Michael Douglas's and Ken Takakura's buddy cop chemistry is one of this movie's highlights. The conversation scene of these two at the roadside eatery while at the stakeout is one of the best scenes this movie offers. Also there is Kate Capsha's nightclub host character Joyce. This is the second time she plays a host of a nightclub and first been Willie Scott in The Temple of Doom. Her role is too small that I wish if it had been fleshed out more. As the main antagonist, Yusaku Matsuda makes a lasting impression as Sato in his last acting role and brings the ruthlessness of Yakuza gangs with utmost intensity. Sato is brooding and he has no care of who chases after him, he needs a higher place in the Yakuza food chain. Yusaku's commitment to this character is so much that nobody can recognize that he was actually suffering with bladder cancer while filming. Sadly he has passed away shortly after this movie's American premiere, and the movie is dedicated in his memory. It is a known fact that this movie was not fully shot in Japan and production had to be shifted to US 
especially to shoot the action sequences due to red tape laws in Japan. But the look and feel of this movie is so stunning that it makes you wanting to be in the 80s technologically booming Japan, and it is partly due to the expert cinematography of Jan de Bont, and the timeless musical score of Hans Zimmer. Though the action scenes are limited the ones that are there have been shot in grand scale, with Jan's expert skill behind the camera, and Hans's score brings a techno and traditional taste it instantly gives that authentic Japanese feel. Another thing that makes you revisit this movie is the soundtrack, I'll Be Holding On by Greg Ullman. It is another Hans Zimmer masterpiece that is so fitting for the movie and also for the era the movie came out. Black Rain is not a movie that comes into one's mind when thinking of action classics. But it is a timeless classic that I consider as one of the greatest action movies ever came from the 80s, and also wish if it ever had a sequel. In Reminisce series starting with this video, I won't be rating the movie, but I commend on a level how good it is. So I will be commending this movie as so good. Thanks for watching. Till we meet with another interesting video, please like, share and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on notifications to get alerted of new content. Thank you.